All right, guys. It's November 23rd, day after Thanksgiving. We've had a ton of food yesterday. I know I did. Rob probably did too. Okay. Uh, but we've got a treat today because Rom, who grows his figs up in Kirkland, um, brought a few figs, including a Saijo or Sajo persimmon. Um, he brought the gross monster use. And forgive me if I'm butchering the name. A black Madeira. It looks like a Coldy Dom, so maybe it's the weather. Uh, but it's a cute little guy. The Sejo. Beautiful persimmon. And then the Ponte Tressa. Take a look at this one. Brought it. I didn't believe it that it's a Ponte Tressa. It looks a little different, but it's ripening in November, so it's kind of cold. And uh, we've been hitting some frost nights and, and so maybe it's affecting how it's looking, but um, I'm excited to cut all of these open. So I'm gonna let Rob talk about uh, some of these figs and what he does uh, up in Kirkland uh, with his collection. Okay, uh, not much to say other than uh, that I got uh, one of these, uh, this one, the Gross Monstrous, which I'm not sure I'm pronouncing right again. <laughs> this tree I got from Slavi. And it's an old tree, maybe a few years old, maybe five years old or whatever. And it produced, it's pr produced like a champ for me this year. And it's uh, really tasty. It's an amazing variety. Uh, but no promises this time because it's November and we don't know how it's going to taste in November. Uh, the Pontetressa is from a first year tree. It's from cuttings. So again, it's, uh, this is maybe the third fruit the first one was okay the second one was a lot better this one uh, i let it sit on the tree for a while hopefully it's going to be quite good we'll see uh, and the sejo is uh, is amazing i can't say anything else other than it's amazing it's uh, <laughs> it's just something to uh, something to taste and i'm i'm sure ben will agree oh yeah and, yeah definitely uh, important <laughs> And the black Madeira, this is the first fruit I got of a new tree from uh, Just Fruits and Exotics. So, and it's got this weird shape, so you may be thinking I got the wrong variety, but I didn't. <laughs> because I have other fruits from the same tree that look much more like a traditional black Madeira. Nice. Okay, so um, that's what I forgot to, uh, to mention. This, this is the JFE black Madeira. I know some of you have asked about this fig. Uh, whether or not it's a true black Madeira or if it's something else. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to have a similar taste. Uh, it might look a little bit different here, but uh, this is, this would be kind of interesting to see how it compares with, let's say, a black Madeira from KK or U UCD. So uh, let's cut these guys open. Oh, wow. That, that gross monster use looks delicious. That's juicy. Yeah, it's an amazing fig. Let's see how it is. Yeah. This is the Black Madeira. Madeira. JFE Black Madeira. That looks pretty good. Not as jammy as I'd like, but yeah. it's maybe a few days early. Right, right, yeah. I was going to use another day, but yeah. it still looks good. Oh, no seeds? No seeds. Interesting. No seeds. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. It's amazing. Nice. And then the much anticipated Ponte Tressa. Wow. Look at that inside. That is incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. That is black purple almost on the inside. <laughs> that is yeah. amazing. Yeah. All right, let's start here. Um, with the gross monster in use. I'm gonna cut a little bit here just in case Mr. Nolan comes running by. Uh, and then you can have oh, that Why don't you piece. try yours first? Because I've tasted this Oh, one. you've had, you, I've I know it. you like it. I love it. I know you like it. Yeah. I've got three of these trees in the backyard and they haven't fruited for me, but this guy knows how to get them to ripen. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit more TLC into mine um, so that it can grow some fruit next year. Mm, not bad for November, huh? Yeah, that's great for November. Yeah. It's actually a lot like MVSB in a sense where it has a little bit of that tartness. Wow, it's pretty good. Yeah. But it's strawberry jammy. Mm, the 
exactly. But a little bit of that tartness that brings it into, uh, gives it a little bit of uh, a unique flavor compared yeah. to some of the other ones that are out there. I like it, man. Is it productive for you? It's super productive. I got maybe 20 figs first, first year. It's never ripened before for the first year. Yeah. You know, it's 20 figs and not bad. Yeah, no, that's really good. <laughs> well, what I've read to, or you know, sometimes you know, I've seen some reports, some figs just will drop first couple of years. Um, let's say the- Pastelier. Yeah, Pastelier from yeah. Rain Tree will do that. I know Dan Foster has said that they, they will reward you if you just keep at it and <laughs> take care of it for, you know, third year on. They seem to hold its fruit and it's really, really good. So definitely got to keep that one around. Um, see if I can get one for myself next year. Let's try this guy. Oh, Black Madeira. Black Madeira from uh, JFE. That's uh, Just Fruits and Exotics. Mm. Uh, I know they had a couple different versions that they, they, were, they were selling on there. One was wrong, so they replaced it. Waited a few years until they got this version. And I know I have, when did you get this one? Last year. Last year? I got one last year as well. Yeah. So that's when they came out with a new version. Yeah. So I'm excited to try this. It's not completely black. I think this was in the greenhouse, right? E yes, mine's a little blacker than yours because yeah. the one that's towards the light got yeah. black and the other side. Yeah, did. okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever spacing more of that yeah. sunlight will get a little bit darker. Yeah. But in the greenhouse too, they, they don't get that, that dark color, that, the black it, color. Exactly right. So that's exactly what I'm right. Let's try this guy out. Well, that's a thick skin. Mmm, mmm. It's still it. very good. My, it's good. Uh, that, that's a I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is the first black Madeira I've had this season. Mmm. My trees, good. for some reason, they just haven't ripened, but. Man, it's good. Even a black Madeira that is not ripened in the summer is still super good. My God, it's yeah. good. It just has this amazing flavor. Sweet, syrupy, mm. it's thick like like honey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gelatinous honey. That was really good. So um, I'm putting the scores in my head right now, so that way I can put it on the screen for you. <laughs> We've already weighed these guys. You know, I'll put the uh, the uh, the weight of the each fig in the reviews as well. Uh, and of course, I feel like we need to do this, this sage the sage oil first. Sage oil. The the <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Tressa, it looks like, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> I mean, we'll talk about it a little bit, but let's go for the stage up. These were ripened here in the Pacific Northwest by Ram, of course. He brought all these down, so you know, thank you for coming down today. Um, I think I might have to get this in my garden as well. Look at my yeah, wife. Yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah. Make sure she's, <laughs> I think I'm going to add this to the tree. <laughs> but uh, this is an amazing persimmon. You know, I picked about 15 pounds of Fuyu. None of them were ripe. And so I got a banana ripening in the box with them right now. <laughs> that ethylene gas might help them to, to ripen properly. There's no seeds in this thing. Yeah. Egg it's shape. ripened completely. Yeah, and um, they, they're soft, right? You know, hopefully they don't have any of that tannic. No. Nah. No? Maybe they a little dry. bit, but, but maybe not. Let's, let's, let's see, yeah. Wow. That's good, dude. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. This is really good. I'm gonna save a little bit. Maybe Nolan wants to eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I've already tried to save a little bit. Man, that's thick and it just mm -hmm. hits it. That syrup in there, it's really good. Oh yeah. There's no tannic kind of flavor to it at all. That's properly ripened. Yeah. Did you just pick this off the tree? I picked it off the tree yesterday. Yesterday? Oh my God. So I've not even <laughs> been on the counter for that long. Um, That is really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying that. Oh yeah. I, is it yours in grab? Mine's in ground, yeah. Everything's, everything's in ground except the fig trees, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, that's exciting news. This is a Sejo persimmon. Uh, and I think Troy from Restoring Eden probably has it here locally. Yeah. So uh, if you want to get it from there, I think you should check him out. Uh, unless you do mail order, you can probably get it from a few different nurseries online. Last one. A dangerous <laughs> <laughs> So this thing was, a little backstory behind the Ponte Tressa, if you don't know what it is. Um, it's a fig, was it, what's a country of origin again, can you remind me? Uh, it's on the border of Switzerland and Italy. Yeah. So I suspect it's Switzerland. Switzerland? South, South Switzerland, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was a tree discovered probably about three or four years ago. Um, 
was really, really popular. I mean, you, you, it was expensive too. To get a cutting was well into the hundreds of dollars to be able to get a cutting. Now it's a little bit more common um, and the, the prices have kind of dropped off to where it's a little bit more attainable. I've got a tree too that's never ripened. And so I was excited to see that Rom can get this beautiful blackberry jammy looking fig. You know, I've never seen color like this on a fig before. Uh, and so I'm excited to try it. Uh, it gives us all hope that one day we can write in <laughs> a Ponte Tressa, you know, may maybe with a little help, right? You're not going to go and leave this in ground to get it to ripen. You're going to have to wake up maybe a little bit early yeah. or leave it in the greenhouse uh, a little bit later. So yeah, this is from a first year cutting. And it's a one year cutting. Amazing. Um, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and try this guy out, right? This is your second or third one, but this is yeah. the most right. This is probably the best yeah. so far. <laughs> right, <laughs> Right. Ooh, that's different. Berry. Yeah. Right? Strong berry flavor. Yeah. Mm. Really juicy. Like a lot juicier than I thought it was going to be. Wow. But it's different. Um, wow, it's sweet and berry. Plummy a little bit. Yes. So there's a little bit of like how plummy flavor on the back end. Um, Maybe blackberry. And some blackberry. Some blackberry. I mean, it looks like blackberry. Yeah. No, does it have the, the acid that it would on a blackberry? But it's not, you can't just call it strawberry jam. No, 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 it's not strawberry jam. No. Oh, sorry, no, I ate the whole piece. Mm, I really <laughs> like this one. That's good. The fact yeah. that it's so different is, is oh, yeah. as a collector, you're going to go, okay, this, this fig is it's so different from everything else that you have that you go, oh, yeah. it has a place. It has a place, yeah. yeah has I'm very really impressed with this one. But it's good. It is like blackberry jam without the, the acidity. The sweetness is not off the charts. No. But maybe it's because it's ripening in November. Right. Um, but I think it's I think it's pretty good thing. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna have to wake it up a little bit early or throw it into the the grow tent <laughs> um, to get it started. That's a wonderful thing, man. Uh, but yeah, appreciate Rob. Hey, most welcome. Thank you for <laughs> bringing down the figs and the, and the sage of persimmon. It's incredible to be eating figs in late November, right after Thanksgiving, uh, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. And so I'm, I'm really glad that he brought it down. Uh, he has this ability to ripen figs. That <laughs> I haven't been able to ripen some. I'm glad he's here as a resource. Uh, and he's on our figs, you know, fig addiction. You know, it's a great resource for uh, how he grows his figs too. So that was Gross Monster News. Sajo Persimmon, uh, JAT Black Madeira, and then the Ponte Tressa. Amazing. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Hit subscribe. Maybe I'll help Ron, you know, in more videos. <laughs> if you like them. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.